Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in my Ram Panzer, platooned up with Drewski. We're on Westfield. He's in his Patton. I lie, he's in his E5. Um, so it's an encounter battle. Flag's in H7, but usually an encounter. Um, the flag is just a distraction for people that don't know how to play the game. So in counter battle, you should play the map like you normally do. Um, it's a little bit different maybe with just how the teams spawn, but... Anyways, nonetheless, we started on top of the hill, so I'm in my scout. I'm going to get some scouting duty done here. They spot me, so this is an aggressive line, especially when I was already lit. Um, but I was guessing that they're still driving. Um, so I can make that move and sure enough they were all moving around so they didn't have clean shots in me To come around this hill I hit the is three or is it two five seven? Object two five seven they all look the same Dang Russian tanks <clears throat> All right, Juski's up on this ridge. I want to counter their scout. I don't want him to um, poke over and get shots into my team. Westfield's important for scouts to stay alive at the end. Just because you have that huge valley and if there's tank destroyers that are in F0 that sometimes they're just hard to get spotted. And like if you're stuck in your heavy tank, you're just trying to outspot a sneaky tank destroyer in his E5, it's not going to happen, so... <clears throat> There's a grill hiding up in the hills there. Just going to try to snap a shot off here. I get a shot into him. Now the grill starts to retreat. I missed that shot into him. Already slams that jag. Get some track there. He, the jag was looking at me, trying to save his grilly. They're platooned up together, so that makes sense. All right, so you guys know Westfield is pretty much one in the northwest here. I don't want to poke too high and give that Jag a, like, a wide open shot on me. I realize that there's a heavy tank rotating behind us and the scout is all, going all in on my medium tank. So I want to help him out. I do make a mistake here. I shouldn't chase him, um, but I want him out of the game. So I missed my ram because the Jagru tracks me, which I'm lucky to be alive since I just would have got double tapped by a grill and a Yegru. And the E1's chasing me now. I thought the E1 was coming over the hill, so I should have taken a different line. Like, I should have just came up through this little nook right here. Um, but if the E1 was coming over the top of the hill, then he would add shots in me. That's why I chose to go um, keep it in the low ground. Um, that way being in the low ground will make him crest the whole hill to use his gun depression and the, uh, E1 isn't known for good gun depression. So the T10 has kind of committed himself here. Now he is with the E1, but I should be able to work this ridge line and pick him off. And unless I low roll, no, oh, no, no, I low roll. Okay, so low roll, he gets a shot into me down to 293, but I get a shot into his butt. So pop that hill, just wanna get this stuff spotted. They still have Artie, so we have to be careful. So I'm going to come back here, open up a second angle. 7-7, still tight match. 
shot into that grill. Detected. Not sure where it's coming from. It's gonna wiggle a little bit. Try to get unspotted. At this point, I can't trade any health. I don't have any health to trade anymore. So I wasn't spotted, took a shot, back down. And at this point, I don't realize that there's a 432 behind me. I have no idea how we got there. Pretty disappointed that that happened since we have tanks on the base. But it happened, so it's up to Drewski now. Commander's dead. He's got 800 hit points to work with. It's a nice shot into that E75. The 705 has no gun depression, so he's pretty safe here. I let him know to keep moving. Uh, one thing to just remind people, like if you're in a platoon, remind them that there's arty or just let them know what tanks are doing around them. Um, especially if they're looking down their barrel, it gets pretty hairy. <clears throat> so I let him know that the 705 was coming up, but you can see that the gun depression of the 705 is pretty terrible. Um, it can't even get a clean shot on the E5. I let him know that the 430 is setting up behind him, and he misses a shot there. E5 is not known for its long distance range. So he's going to keep his turret towards the 705 in case he comes over. It doesn't look like he's coming, so he wants to put his focus onto the 432. And he misses his shot again, so it's 432. Yes, there's snapshots, but at this, that range, he definitely should have hit him. Um, but that's E5 for you. It's got good DPM, not very good accuracy. He does get one more in him in low rolls to keep him alive. So it's three versus five, and they have Artie. And I let him know that the AMX is working his way up the hill to help these two out. Artie splashes him, takes his track off. Conqueror tracks the 705 there. Drew gets a shot into the lower plate, and now the Conqueror will be loaded in time to put him down. Shuts him down. So they make it into a 3v4. The 432 is on his right, and I try to let him know, but he's just wasn't expecting that to go down like that. So now he's ammo racked. He's only got 367 hit points and no commander. So trying to outspot anything is not going to happen. <clears throat> he still has his repair kit, so he fixes his ammo rack. And at this point... I'm like, you guys, you and the Conqueror have to support the AMX in the hopes that the AMX makes moves. This is a good defensible location, but they're down one tank right now, so if it comes to a tiebreaker, they lose. So I tell him to work the low ground. And at this point, he can just kind of snipe for the heavies. And they spot the E75 on four hit points. But he's targeted. So we're thinking it's Artie. And he turns his tank, and there's a waffle hiding in the city. All right, so then there was two. 2v3, two plus they have Artie. This AMX really should be on the front line, but he's been playing pretty passive the whole time. Uh, Conqueror shuts down the E75. There's a 257 out there. Looks like the AMX was trying to go for a shot on the waffle, um, then realizes that he's not going to be able to cleanly go over that hill, which the right thing to do is shut that 257 down. So we got a 2v1. Okay, so we got a 1v1, and they still have Artie. And I say 1v1 because I don't consider Artie as a tank. Like, if you get to end game, chances are you're probably going to shut Artie down, right? All right, so he does the right thing, gets a nice ram into him. 
However, his armor is not good enough. The Waffle puts another shot into him, leaving him at 191. He loads up, kills the Waffle. Now he just needs to hide just in case Artie's going to shoot again. He needs to get unspotted. Hopefully not break anything down. All right. So then there was one on each team. And this is going to come down to a shootout. Where is Artie hiding? To me in this scenario, I'd go I'd go to base. Like maybe I'd get to G3 and just poke that ridge. Um, but honestly, I'd just slither down to the base, get on there, and I'm going to outspot Artie. And if I make Artie come to me, um, that's going to make it awkward for him to get shot. <clears throat> this guy chooses to go south, which generally this is where Artie's going to be. And I think he was over here. I mean, just come from where the shots were coming from. I tell him to get on base. I shouldn't say I tell him. I suggest it to him. looking around he turns his turret to make sure because he didn't poke that go all the way around the corner so at least he's got his turret turn at this point I think he's a pretty decent player even though he was hiding on base the whole time I should say whole time I didn't not sure exactly what he was doing so he spots Artie and he stops in the middle of a field like I think he should have just turned left and go towards his house but now he's driven past the house, so what he needs to do is just get under the hill. Close the distance, and he shoots and misses. And this is, just, you just feel the heartbreak in the air. Please miss Artie. <sighs> Artie doesn't even need to hit him. He's a T-92. He splashes him. <sighs> it's another heartbreak. I lost map awareness. That 432 killed me. Definitely threw the game away. Drewski kind of positioned himself poorly but who knows that that waffle is hiding in the city um, usually waffle players are passive but so I take second with 278 damage or 2000 like 3k damage Drewski gets 3300 our conquered did a lot of work with 4k damage and this guy only had 2200 which he got a lot of that at the end so um, I don't think he did much that whole game the worst thing he did was let that 432 buy him and the worst thing i did was not pay attention to my map so 257 did work with 4k damage and already took top damage dealer with 5003 kills so as much as i hate to do it i sent him a gg that was a close match i knew i was gonna be commentating on it when it comes down to the wire 1v1 at the end showdown and he pulls it out in the end so props to you Artie. at least you did it while you were spotted you didn't just like pop him off the map when you you couldn't see you all right i'll quit babbling that's all i got for you guys make sure you like share subscribe and i will catch you in the next video